Two fire departments are joined in deep sadness tonight, mourning the death of a young firefighter with a very promising future. She or uh, this uh, was the solemn procession today in honor of Stafford volunteer Mia Etheridge. She died over the weekend, nearly two months after suffering critical injuries in a fire truck crash. Today, Northern Virginia Bureau Chief Julie Carey visited the Stafford Firehouse to find out how they are remembering Mia. Mia Etheridge was just 18 years old when she entered the Stafford Fire Academy. The captain who trained her, remembering she quickly became a star in part because of her vibrant personality and dedication. Like her was always the sunshine, was always the one that was encouraging others. The first one to be there to do a tasking, whether it's doing ladders or you know stretching hose. These pictures are how Captain Gustavo Lecce will remember Mia, always sitting at the front of class, asking lots of questions, posing proudly with the other recruits after the first time they trained in a burning building. And that was a really great thing to see her transition from the beginning to where at the end she is leading this class on like to running into burning buildings, cutting cars. After serving as a volunteer EMT and later firefighter at three Stafford stations, Mia joined Louisa County's fire department as a career firefighter. But on July 9th, on a stormy day, the engine she was riding in went off the road and hit a tree. She was critically injured. Colleagues in Stafford and Louisa raising money, going to visit to boost her spirits. And recently, she progressed to rehab. We could see the progress as we go see her. We thought we, we were out of the woods. The firehouse stunned to learn over the weekend that Mia had passed away. Her colleagues say an infection led to her death. Today, Louisa and Stafford coming together for this time-honored tradition, the procession of emergency vehicles rolling up I-95 as Mia was brought back home, saluted by her firefighting brothers and sisters along the way. They say even in her short time with them, her legacy is planted in their hearts and minds. The best way to, to, to remember and to move on is to remember her for who she was, you know, the, the spirit and the sunlight that she is to us. And the time that we've had with her were cherished for, forever. And in an online post, the Louisa Fire Department writes, on her way home, Mia is still taking care of others, going on to say that her family made the decision to donate her organs. In Stafford County, I'm Julie Carey, News 4. Funeral arrangements for Mia Etheridge are still being finalized. She was just 20 years old.